Hey guys, Julie here. I'm out with Ms. Ember. It's bulldog weather today. It's like 60 degrees out. Um, anyway, this is the first time I'm working with her. Gabby's done all the work. I'm out for a long line off leash walk. Right now I've got her in heel. Gabby's done a wonderful job with the heel position. Ember, uh, I was told, uh, is a pushy dog, meaning she always wants to be a couple inches ahead of your leg. I'm gonna show you a couple of my moves that I do with pushy dogs to keep them further back. Because if they're too far ahead, they're scanning, they're reacting to the environment. If they're further back, half their vision is taken away because they are running into your leg and they're in follow mode, which means they're not gonna be reacting to the environment. Okay, so this is a perfect position. Behind me, using my leg as a reference. But what one thing I like to do is speeding up and then slowing down quickly. And if she doesn't slow down with me, if she bolts past me, I press and hold pressure until she gets back to my leg. All right, here we go. Speeding up and then slowing down. Good. Heel. Tap my tone there. She didn't fall for it, right? But the ones, if they're being pushy, they'll forge ahead and that gives you justification to press and hold until they move back. Now notice I just did a complete 180 turn there and she's right by me. So you can always do a turn, like a 180 turn, tap and turn. If they don't turn right with your leg, tap, 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 tap. Um, this is all just things to get them more in tune with you on the walk because you're competing with so much. The environment is always going to be more exciting than sticking by your leg. So that's why we have to hold our dogs accountable for their behavior and for everything that they know. And we do that with the e-collar. And that's what allows me to be walking her completely off leash. Good girl. Another thing you can do is just a basic stop. And if the dog doesn't stop with you, sit or down, that gives you justification to click the remote. What a good girl. Puts herself in a down stay. I like that. So now to be fair to her, I'm gonna tell her to stay and then I'm gonna walk away. Stay. She has a solid stay. This is gonna help her family be able to take her to all those soccer games that they want to. Very good girl. So I can create distance. I can walk away from her. I can do a complete arc around her. Good girl, honey. And I'm gonna flip the camera around here. We're gonna show you her recall. So just to show you how we use a basic recall, it's gonna be saying her name, saying C-O-M-E, tapping the tone button here, praising her as she's on her way, and she should sit her down somewhere right at my feet. Ember, come. Good girl, hi. Sit down. Good girl, honey, good girl. And that's the recall. And then from then, she can either stay in her downstay, you can put her back into a heel, or you can release her to go have fun. Let's try her double down. Down. Very nice, honey. Good girl. Let's try a recall to a heel. I'm gonna tap my tone. Good girl. She comes to me, I'm gonna flip, heel. And she gets right into a heel. That's some good stuff there, honey. Good job. Good girl. You are sharp. Ember, break. Good girl. Let's do a potty break. Go potty. Okay, let her go potty, and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna recall her off of free time. Let her go potty for a little while. This is part of the beauty of having an off-leash trained dog is that I'm completely out in the world, in the neighborhood, and then she's not constantly at the end of a leash. You know, I can let her do things within reason where she's got her freedom to go potty and sniff. And then when I need her again, I just call her back. Okay, so I'm gonna start tapping my tone. Come, good, here she comes. Good girl, sit down. Good job, look at that. Right off of that free time and the smells over there. And then let's get back to our heel. Heel, beautiful. Good girl, Ember. 